Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States. On November 7, 1972, Joe Biden won a seat in the U.S. Senate. 48 years to the day later, the soon-to-be 78-year-old was named the winner of the 2020 presidential election. When Biden takes office in January, he will be the oldest sitting president in history. The news of Biden's victory brought massive crowds to the Capitol Square today. On one side, celebration, and on the other, anger and disbelief. Adam Duxter shows us how both are handling the news. Natalie Hoffman was already outside the Wisconsin State Capitol when she got the news. Obviously, it's a huge relief. She was soon joined by hundreds of others on the state street steps, eager to celebrate Joe Biden being projected as the next United States president. I'm feeling invincible because the youngest and the blackest cities in the country defeated a racist authoritarian and transformed and changed history in this country. And while the celebration continued on one side of the Capitol, on the other, <laughs> confrontation in a crowd of 100 or so Trump supporters who don't believe he lost. Not for one minute do I believe that Joe Biden is going to go into the Oval Office. Absolutely no way. Davina Sego and her son Jordan drove all the way from Rhinelander to protest. And while the group of Trump supporters say the election was stolen, there's no evidence so far of any foul play either in Wisconsin or across the nation. It was just another lie, just like everything else they put out. But again, the facts say otherwise, as Joe Biden racks up the most votes for a presidential candidate ever. And while some states still haven't called their results, he'll have more than the 270 electoral votes he needs, which Epps Addison says is something worth celebrating. I'm feeling incredibly proud, especially of all of the people of color here in Madison and in Milwaukee that changed the tide in the state.